Praise the Lord, Church of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. This is your brother in Christ, Prophet Okumbo Abraham. Ken. Actually, these days I go by uh, Apostle, Prophet, and Teacher because I recognize that God helps me to fill these three spiritual offices. And I just came to bless, not because of the titles that I bear, but because I am your brother in Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. I have a quick uh, uh, prophetic word for somebody this morning, and I came to use the American dollar bill as a point of contact. This is actually a dollar bill, eight dollars, prophetic uh, symbols. Eight is uh, the prophetic symbol for new beginnings. Uh, seven is God's prophetic number for uh, perfection. Some people use the word perfection. Uh, six is God's prophetic number for a man. Uh, five is God's prophetic number for grace and mercy too, and peace. Grace, mercy, and peace. Um, so we are heading towards uh, uh, perfection, restoration. Uh, we're heading towards financial favor. I want somebody to hear me out for the Bible say it is God that give it deep power to get wealth. Amen. Amen. You see all those things that the devil has done to you all these years. Uh, here comes God about to give you kingdom wealth. Hallelujah. Ah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Bless blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you as we pray. Child of God, today we are we are we're in, we are entering into some spiritual, spiritual prophetic times. God is about to bless some people and me. I see the blessings coming. I see massive, massive, massive financial blessings. I see kingdom wealth coming. I see God turning our situations around. Blessing us with houses and cars and blessing us with uh, 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 a beautiful relationship with the land. Um, I know that God is about to do it. I see God doing it. Um, I want you to know that God has never, never, never forsaken his people. Hallelujah. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. Here the Bible says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. Remember the Lord thy God. Don't forget God. When you get everything, when you get the cars, when you get the houses, when you get the money, when you get the wife, when you get the children, when you get everything you were crying for, remember the Lord thy God. The Bible says that he may establish his covenant, which we swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. Thou shalt not forget the Lord thy God. Do not forget God when he has given you everything. When he gives you your immigration papers, don't forget him. When he gives you money, don't forget him. When he gives you the houses, the cars, don't forget him. When God uh, destroys and delivers you from the hands of your enemies, don't forget God. As a matter of fact, the more God blesses me, the more humble I become. The more I thank him. That I was not swallowed up by my enemies. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. It says the blessing of the Lord. It maketh rich and he added no sorrow with it. The blessing of the Lord. It maketh rich and he added no sorrow with it. Child of God, let me encourage somebody this morning. You know that as you journey through life. There are certain people who never imagined you will make it in life. They never imagined that it would be you that God would choose. It would be you that God would bless. It would be you that God will give the house, that God will give the car. Uh, the Holy Ghost came and spoke to me through the night vision. He said, Kenneth, the days of fighting with unbelievers and the days of fighting for money and food is coming to an end. You are going to have abundance. Now unto him that is able to give us exceedingly, abundantly, above what we ask or think. He's a God that can do more than you are asking for. Yes, Lord. He's a God that can do more than you are thinking about. You are thinking of one house. God wants to give you five houses. You are thinking about 
a million dollars god is thinking about giving you a hundred million dollars watch this watch this when all those blessings come when they come and overtake you i can feel it i can hear the sound of blessings coming my way i can hear the sound of blessings coming your way i can hear it in the spirit everything the devil was fighting against you for god has released it and god say he's going to silence the voice of your enemies in the land the ones that wanted you to suffer the ones that wanted you to be punished the ones that wanted you to die god say he will disappoint every one of them and he will raise you up in the land and the land shall see it and the earth shall see that what is going on in your life this can only be god moses understood the ah uh, the the the, the ways of God and the, and the children of Israel understood his art and when God brings forth his ways around you for the way of the Lord is higher than our ways the Bible says as high as the heavens is from the earth so high are his ways from our ways and his thoughts from our thoughts now that God is about to release the blessings hear me child of God there are blessings coming I hear the, the Lord saying blessings are coming I see it coming I see the doors open uh, I see the, the connection coming. I see uh, your phone ringing and God opening up a door for you to make more, more, more money than you have ever imagined in your life. As God starts to bless you, child of God, don't forget God. Don't forget God's people. There are people that God have brought around you in the days when you were going through your pain. Uh, God used them to save you. God used them to sustain you. Don't forget about them. I have a list of the people that I want to bless. I'm telling you, uh, the ones I want to give certain things to, uh, because in the days when we were going through our pain, they stood by us. Uh, we know that God is about to do something massive. Child of God, go and open your account. Go and open your bank account. Go and open it. For uh, You have never heard me saying things like this before in ministry. I'm telling you, I see the showers of blessings. I see the showers of blessing. Yela seka dune benu ra ye gadalaska bregedi na gadanaka yo pre pregede bregede. What you did not struggle to get, the things you didn't even ask for, God will give it to you in this season. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace to go to school, the grace to buy your house, the grace and the financial favor to get your own cars, all the things that the devil tried to destroy you from getting god say you are going to get it psalms 84 verse 11 the bible says no good thing will he withhold from them that love him hallelujah as i round up this video i want to pray with somebody i will use my debit my uh, debit card as point of contact and i will use this eight dollars as a point of contact lord lord within eight days lord eight days oh god i ask Within eight days, Lord, release the blessings. Lord, every financial favor that we need to go back to school, financial favor that we need, oh God, to buy new cars, new houses. Yeah, Lord, financial favor that we need to pay off our debt. Lord God, I call unto you. You say you have released it. You say you have answered the prayer. So, Lord Jesus, we call unto you. The times of waiting and waiting and waiting comes to an end. Yea, every power of the enemy that decided that we shall not move forward, we shall be stagnated. These yokes are broken in the name of Jesus. Yea, we desire to go into the nations for evangelism. Lord, we are asking for the resources, Lord. And so, Lord, we call for the resources. Hey, let it be, Lord, even according to your will. Thank you for everything which you have done and for silencing the voice of our enemies, the voice of the Levitans in our generation. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for you are our shield and our buckler our provider you are our deliverer yea my shield my buckler my fortress our god in you we trust lord god we cover our faces our faces lord we wipe our faces for newness lord we wipe our faces for restoration lord lord we become new men and new women in christ lord we soak ourselves with the blood of jesus thank you holy ghost for this release in the spirit may your name alone be praised church of jesus christ these are the days of kingdom wealth creation god giving ideas to his people he is the god that give it power to get well and even though that the spirit of destruction is going through the land it will not come near you in Jesus' name, amen.